Hey guys, how are you? It's her from Lobster Lab Media. So I want to do a little bit called uh, growing and uh, burning your own sage. So <laughs> sage is used um, by a lot of Native cultures, Native American. Um, it's just it's a, it's can be used as a cleanse. It's just very fragrant, also. So this particular sage was grown and um, we bought it uh, as plants two years ago. And then this year, it, they both plants grew just uh, huge, just like you know, small little shrubs. And then in July, we harvested it. Um, thought it might kill the whole plant, but it didn't. Um, and ended up getting, I don't know, I think uh, probably 25 um, bundles like this. It's easy, you just, you cut it with a scissor, uh, you wrap it with a small string or twine, and then you let it dry for a month or two. And then you have uh, sage. It's, it's just, uh, I love it. It's, uh, like I said, it's very cleansing, and I love the fragrance of it. And it's real simple to do. Um, you know, like I said, the two little plants we got were probably two bucks each two years ago. They came up again because they're perennials. And uh, we got like 25 giant bundles like this. So pretty cool. So please like and subscribe if you like the content. We're up to over 210 videos now on branding and marketing on a budget. And Virtuality, and you know, I'm the author of The Lobster and the Chicken, and the producer of the film uh, Pay Attention, Successfully Exposed. I'm going to walk down now and show you what the actual sage plant looks like before it's uh, harvested. It's just uh, it's a simple, easy thing to do, and uh, you know, it's, it doesn't take a lot of time. I believe it has a, like a light purplish blue flower that comes up but the, this mainly it's the leaves that uh that you do for the for the burning and uh, let's see do we have any more left yeah the the sage that i this this is is called common sage and this is uh this particular sage that we have left is a uh, burr garden sage. See that? That's what it looks like. And in this particular plant, there's three different ones. You, uh, you know, you could certainly put that on a on a patio or whatever. I had mine in my uh, my little urban garden, so I had them separated um, at least a couple of feet apart. So again, simple to do. Um, and well worth the effort. So uh, please like and subscribe and uh, have an awesome and amazing day. And uh, here we are, Herbs Herbs. <laughs> See you soon.